you want the court? Your Honor, he has an attorney. My dog and I'm. The 79-year-old man arrested for the murder of a prominent Lodi doctor joined three other suspects facing a judge today. The former podiatrist was gunned down in his doorway two months after he lost his license. Now we've learned the state pulled it after a complaint was filed against him by the wife of that 79-year-old suspect. CBS 13's Carlos Correa was in Stockton and has the latest. All four suspects sat in the line waiting for their names to be called as the judge read their charges in connection to the murder of Dr. Tom Schock. 79-year-old Robert Lee is the oldest of the four suspects arrested within the last few days, accused of shooting and killing Dr. Tom Schock in his upscale neighborhood in Lodi. Excuse me, Your Honor, he yeah. has an attorney. Yeah. In court, his daughter Sherry Lee told the judge the family has hired a lawyer from Walnut Grove to represent their dad. She declined to talk with us outside the courtroom, but did speak to us at her home after her father's arrest. He takes naps now. All he does is nap. He's almost 80 years old. My dad, I don't know. I don't understand this. Police arrested Lee on charges of murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and soliciting to commit murder. Also arrested, Christopher Costello, Mallory Stewart, and now 26-year-old Raymond Jaquette. There were a lot of people that, you know, knew, knew Dr. Shock, you know, were close to him. CBS 13 has learned Lee's deceased wife was Dr. Shock's former patient. In 2016, she filed a complaint against him with the California Board of Podiatric Medicine after treatment for what began as a hangnail led to a partial foot amputation. The doctor was placed on probation, and not too long ago, the state ordered the surrender of his license for a violation of that probation. We're uh, still working on determining, you know, what, what they're uh, involved, uh, how they're how they know each other and what their involvement is. Detectives say they are no longer looking for any more suspects. The doctor's son spoke about his father in a written statement. My father was an unbelievable man. His passing has created suffering that I don't think our family could have ever imagined. All four men are expected to be back here in court for further arraignment on October 12th.